Evening everyone, hope all is well. Welcome back to Peter Ray's Adventures. Uh, live stream 343. To wait a few seconds, people to pop in and say hello. If you are in, do say hello. Uh, just a loose topic for tonight. Backlog, end of car boots, Q4, sorting elsewhere, etc. And any other um, questions you may have. And just, just a randomised chat. Um, talk a bit about yesterday, where I went yesterday, and the vlogs that come out for those at some point. So, um, I'm on Instagram, I got Facebook as well. So, I want the description below Ko fi page, buy me coffee, and I got an eBay store, it's in the description um, above here, and also in the des description below. Uh, just noticed a while back that on StreamYard, Facebook isn't working. Um, they're having problems connecting to Facebook, so they're trying to um, work on it. So maintenance on Facebook for um, StreamYard. So um, let's pop over on Facebook. Oh, oh, they got some new. Did that come up on there? Yeah, you can see that little face uh, YouTube emoji there. Um, on the side of it, it says AA. It's easier to see that way. Oh, nice. Um, hi, Limelight Vinci. Thanks for popping in. Hi, AA. Appreciate that. Ali's popped in. Welcome, Ali. We've got the legend that is Derek, chat peddler. Hello to everyone. Eba gum. <laughs> Chris Tyler's popped in. Welcome, Chris. <coughs> Hope everyone's had a good week. Let me know in the... Um, side chat as well. Hi, Pat. Thanks for popping in. Did you pop down the car boot last week? Um, I had a couple of weeks off from the car boot. I just cannot be asked. Like last weekend, I thought it was going to be so bloody muddy and awful. And apparently, um, what I read, it's um, they said it was not great. But same with the weekend before, a couple of weekends ago, I didn't go down as well and just. It's going to be bothered, like, but in hindsight, possibly, maybe, because it's next weekend. Oh, should say, sorry. This weekend is the last weekend. So the 29th is the last weekend of my local car boot and the others. There is some, I think one is opening to the 5th of um, November, but that's like 40 minutes away. But then there is um, one, two, three... Four car boots open in winter, but three of those are over 45 minutes away. And then the other one is crap because it's in a local car park. <laughs> and there's no parking, obviously. So you've got to park elsewhere and pay and all that sort of shit. But, yeah, if I get desperate, I might go. But, um, and that, so, yeah. Um, pop down the list. Uh, Lee's popped to welcome Lee. Oh, Hi, Jamie. Hope's always well, mate. I hope you've been to lots of lots of jumbles. Um, wasn't great. I didn't think it might be. Like, I just couldn't be bothered with that. I like, thought it rained. And the thing is with my local car boot, is they don't bother to tell you half the time till like six, half six, seven o'clock. Oh, now we're closing. Like, they don't give you like a um, text message, unlike some other car boots do, text message. But what they do, they have a a number you can ring, which half time they don't answer. And the fact is that, like, you get um, like down there, and it's like shit. I, I know people have, have done that. Got down there, spent twenty minutes, half hour driving, got down there, it's closed. Tell us the night before, but I thought I better not go because it's just too muddy. Realistically, um, outdoor car boot, not looked after by the council, no way. So next weekend is uh, this weekend's the last one. Before it moves on to the indoor car park. Um, let's go down the list. Uh, that's very true, yes. I mustn't run, forget um, that 2 a.m. this Sunday, um, it's clocks go um, back an hour. So it'll be one o'clock. So don't go to your car boot thinking it's 
five o'clock. It will only be four o'clock. <laughs> I mustn't forget that, to be honest. And that'll cock up the car boot. I know that they're under local. I know they're going to be absolutely fucked by that information. They were last year when it was... Um, uh, sorry, beginning of the year. I uh, near the beginning of the year when it changed um, forward. And this time last year when it was um, like the last Dodd car boot. Yeah, crazy that. But never mind. <clears throat> uh, oh, hi, Bill's the Moon. Uh, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, it was only on for like 45 minutes. I captured what I captured. Um, a localised venue up in Kingston upon Thames. So I got the bus. Takes about half an hour, 40 minutes via bus. Um, had a couple of drinks and a great time had all round. But I had another event on 8 o'clock, the original event at 8 o'clock. Um, they put on one at 7 because the 8 o'clock sold out in about 10 minutes, literally. It came up on my phone. There's like, you, you could do it the next day. And I, when I looked at it, it was like, hang a minute, it's all sold out. Anyway, I managed to get the seven o'clock one. Um, and then there was one the following day. But yeah, he's he's on a tour, Mike Skinner, from the streets. Um, and yeah, he played all the classics. Dry your eyes, mate. Uh, dry your eyes. Um, don't mug yourself, for example. Um, yeah, he plays the classic and some new ones that he's got because he's got a new album out. So at the moment, he's on a tour. I see it by Instagram, UK tour. But I didn't want to go like to a London show, um, Ali Pal- <clears throat> Alexander Palace, which is like November or something, because it's like £60, 60 what, 6 I'm thinking, shit, I ain't got money for it. So one of the things I had to um, kibosh, oh boy, well. But yeah, it was a great vlog. Um, but they do bigger, um, like, like longer um concerts at bigger venues but not particularly this one because they only had about 45 minutes roughly amazed what you fit in though because i went on on to setlist fm setlist.fm on um just typed it in and it comes up with all the um like concerts you just type in what one you had so say like for example the streets and it's shikari wherever it comes up with latest ones and then you flick through that and it's easier to see what it is um, listed on, on the songs. So if you're doing like a little vlog, I'll put on there um, what songs it was. So it's easier for people to know what it is. So yeah, pretty um, amazed at that one. Um, didn't get home that late, to be honest. Um, right, down the list. Hope I haven't missed anyone. <clears throat> Derek says there. Um, his car boot's been cancelled mostly due to the weather. That's right, because you had storm, uh, wherever it was, that st- massive storm up there. But I don't mind, really. I have a small death pile to work through. Cough, cough, wink, wink. <clears throat> small? Small? Um, I do believe, Derek, that a outside shed barn thing would be handy to have um, for your stock. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, <coughs> cough, cough, um, and that. Also, video-wise, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, cough, cough. <coughs> um, evening, Richard. Thanks for popping in, mate. appreciate that. Yeah, storm, where it was, the storm up there. And across the UK as well. We didn't get hardly any of that. Just a little bit of rain last week. And the bit of um, wind. Mm. Um, yeah, same here actually. To be fair, I've got to remember that. The clock's change an hour back. Um, so I need to get up to the car boot. Well, that's the theory anyway. Um, let, let's have a look. Uh so I have a quick check of the weather on BBC, um, my local. So tomorrow, bits of rain and sun, same with Friday. Saturday, light rain, moderate breeze. So I could go out to a um, an indoor, what, what they call an indoor car boot. It really isn't, to be honest. It's, it's more like a jumble sale, I suppose. But 
it cost, cost me a jumble sale, an indoor car boot in a church, but it looks like it's going to be raining all day. So that might kibosh that because I was going to go to some charity shops um, and do videos and stuff, but it might not happen on a Saturday. Sunday uh, might be cancelled as, as well. Shame because I would do another video for, for that particular car boot, but I'll have to have a think. Um, because as you, you might not know, um, a couple of weeks ago, I took off some time, two, three weeks ago, I took off some little bit of time. Um, now it was round when the YouTube shorts were coming out. That's all I had on the odd Wednesday live. I just, just didn't feel like re recording anything for YouTube. And every time I thought about it, it was like the weather was awful. Um, so it looks like, again, an awful bit of weather. So I'm going to have to think about um, different things for YouTube, especially with the reselling content. I know there's a odd few little videos coming up. I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, let's have a look. We've got down the list. Went to see Marty Pello start sadly. It was pretty good, actually. Fair enough. Um, I can't think of any of his songs, but I know Mum's listened to Marty Pello before, but Hopefully you had a good time. Looks like you did. Oh, is that wet, wet, wet? Ah, what love's all love is all around. De -de -de -de. Some uh, weather. I don't know. I think, was it wet, wet, wet? I remember years and years and years when I was a kid, like in the early to mid-90s, first time I actually heard a song, well, I remember hearing a song, was a... A, a tape it had now it was Twix you know the chocolate bar Twix a tape of that and it had, it had some songs on for like like hits it had, I think it had Wet 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 on it if I remember rightly I listened to that I was like oh interesting um, hi Ian J thanks for popping in oh so yeah yeah that could happen like to a lot of us imagine right says Ali if you got all List and sold over the winter months, Derek. When the barn is ready for, for racks, there'll be nothing to go on then, and you can go full force sourcing. Mm. Correct, indeed. For Derek, for us, that particularly does um, resonate a lot of truth about it because the fact is that think about it if I got all this shit and more listed, right. And all it's on the um, unit, right, listed. Then, like, I probably could. Well, yeah, in a way, it's nice to get a lot listed. But what, like, yeah, full force sourcing. But I'd rather keep a little bit back, like, just, just in case um, I, I need any, like, because what my plan is to try and list as much as possible over the winter period, um up until um, end of February, right? From now until end of February. And then whatever is left, work it out and put it into piles, car boot pile, pile for a charity shop, pile to keep, da 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 And if you get enough for the car boot, do one in like April time and get it gone. And then obviously you can source some quality stock. And then obviously that time when March comes around, you've got the car boots, Obviously, charity shops, you've got online sourcing, you've got um, jumble sales come around again, even before then, you've still got some. Um, but I wouldn't like to get rid of all my stock, but put some of it, I suppose, in that way. And it, um, great song. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, dry rise. Because if you think about it, though, like um, the streets, um, the second album, which was a grand don't come for free, right? It one of my favourites from the streets because I came in about 2003, um, had some friends who listened to the streets and played it on like a CD player, blasting it out. He, he's a great lyrical genius, is Mike Skinner. And like, if you go into it, it's, it starts basically with his life. For example... Start seeing a girl called Simone who works in a JD sports sh with friend Dan, which song could be well in. Try to recover the thousand pound by gambling on football. After a series of wins, he frustratingly 
cannot get to bookmakers in time to make the big gamble. Fortunately, the prediction is wrong. It's his lucky day. That's not addicted. Then the next one is it stood up in a nightclub by Simone that's blinded by the lights. Drinking, taking alcohol, ecstasy and all that. It's it's has this fucking spinning around, around, around like a shit. Blinded by a light. That's, that's a brilliant tune. Blinded by the lights. Dude, dude. Proper light. Moves into Simone's house. Finds himself comfortable smoking marijuana and everything while drinking with friends at the pub. Wouldn't have it any other way. And then he argues with Simone. Gets kicked out of her house. That's get out of my house. Go get out of my house. He's, he's, and then he poses. To impress a girl in a takeaway restaurant doing heavy drinking on holiday, fit but you know it. And then such a twat, like you got flies back from holiday and then doing a phone call to a friend. It's just just loads. All sorts tries to cope with a girlfriend breaking up, dry your eyes. And then a grand one. Um deals with on empty cans are brilliant. Bum 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 bum. That just that like background sound. Um, with lyrical genius, features two endings: happy ending and sad ending. The happy ending, he gets the um grand back, and happy. Um, then you got the, got the B side, obviously. If it, you know it, called soaked by the ale, and you got it's 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 great how lyrical comes into one like um like his life, how he takes task during a day or so, and then saves his money by getting his grand back, thousand pounds back. But I was just like, wow, lyrical genius is Mike Skinner and the people who help him write all the songs as, as well. Don't forget Leo the Lion, um, bloke who was on, used to be backing and singer. Um, in the early days, and then what happened was he went, did the um, voice. And that's the last thing you've heard of him <laughs> on um, Kyle Minogue's team years ago on, on the UK Voice when they used to allow celebrities on there. Uh, it's down the list. And you've got your questions. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for popping in. Um, let me know as well. According to the uh, topic as well, sourcing elsewhere. Are you going to be able to source elsewhere through the winter period, or have you got enough stock to last the winter period? Um, because most here will have their car boots ending very shortly, and they won't be going to jumble sale. It's probably not CNE and different things and varying. Um, how you source if you like to tell us if not I understand because we keep a lot of things secret Stum. Um, hope you're well Michelle uh, let's go down the list Storm Babette ain't that that just reminds me of um, Harry and Meghan's kid it's just like vaguely the same name or, or is it it's a fucking random isn't it Babette <laughs> I Neil thanks for popping in mate Uh, yes, I have. I've seen who's going in. I've seen it all on Instagram. I'm not really going to go into that um, uh, resale summit thing, to be honest. Because if I go into it, like if you see, um, for for example, uh, Pound Girl reseller Cheryl, like I I try not, not not knocking it. I try not to cause controversy. If I go into it, and um, I'll get so much backlash. But, but basically, if you don't know, the Resale Summit happened last year. You pay £50 for a whole day session and the evening, bite to eat, cup of tea. Resellers go and chat about their um, experiences. You write a few things down, meet a few people and go home. <clears throat> it's up in Derby. This year, it's £76 or whatever it is. A bit expensive, in my opinion, but just saying no more. But I've seen who's going on it. I don't know. Type in Resale Summit. On Instagram, is you, you'll see who's going in it. Um, some of the usuals that went last year, some new people. I won't be going, but but people do like to go, and that's their opinion. But I've got a massive opinion about that, but I'm not going to release it on YouTube. I refuse to release that on YouTube. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Big backlash. I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, I, I, I've seen it, and... It's been dis- discussed again and again and again. That's privately, though. Say no more. I'll just say hi to um, Lee before. Um... 
Uh, hi, George. Thanks for popping in. George Treasure Shed. Appreciate that. Um, Derek's like, he always goes full force sourcing anyway. Hence death pile. To be fair, if I cut back recently a little bit. Uh, okay. No, it's good though, because you've got plans and things happening with the barn, and which we haven't seen, but say no more. Um, okay. Me, what's that? Um, maybe this is... Ah, yes, yes. People do love to tell me, uh, like, remind me stuff and things happening because I always forget, like, what's happening. Like, yeah, that'll be nice. I was thinking about it um, yesterday, or no, it might have been day b before. Just thinking about, it, like, would there be a meetup this year? Will Nick and Andrea be able to organise a meetup with their hectic lifestyle in their new village they live in? Or will it be in Norwich? Might be in Norwich, folks. It could be. Got a nice cathedral. Nice areas in Norwich. Mm. But it'll be good, though, because you have to have someone or a few people who have got a... Um, who can pull a crowd in. Because I personally don't think... If, if I tried to have a meet-up again, I've tried a couple of times, didn't really work out uh, years ago, like trying to pull a crowd in, my worry is no one to turn up. I'd be sitting in a pub and no one turn up. Or, or one person turn up and be like, oh, is that it? Not not knocking it, but you got to have like a big influence for YouTube, social media, etc. Um, like John Luke and um, Ricky Lee, for example, they doing their one in 27th of January, their meetup, which you got to pay for and all that. But the free one, hopefully, fingers crossed, all that in January with all the January sales in Weatherspoons. Go out on a night out before, like me and Andrew did. Me and Andrew did last year. Fuck you now. We had a good night out last year, God, last January, um, which was obviously this year, um, in January. Jesus. I remember most of it, but apparently I don't remember getting into the hotel room. I was spark out, and he f was emailing me. The only reason I woke up because my phone was kachinging like a madman. I was like, shit. But no, it was a cracking. I, I, I remember all the night out because I, I waited for Andrew in Parker's car. I went in the pub. I had four pints, went to Westbourne, had a pint, and then we went to do a pitch and a piano uh, and a few drinks, fucking expensive in there. Then we went up to the George pub, went up there for a few. No, went in the downstairs area, brought Andrew a couple of drinks and had a bit of a dance with DJ on. I'm trying to pull a couple of crackers. Uh, we went somewhere else. Um, there's a place um, near the Westbourne's, like a... British star phone booth. If you go through there, up a bloody stairs, don't wear a hoodie, they charge you two quid or whatever it is for a hoodie tax. You don't get it back. But you get a hoodie back later on. Um, And then went down there, went to George again, went upstairs, and oh, that was when it was cracking. It was absolutely cracking. A bit like the place where me, Andrew, and John went in Birmingham. Jesus, that was like raving as anything, but. It, it'd be good to have a meet-up in Hitchin um, throughout, like, January, in January at some point, because, like, I always find, like, it's easier rather than Christmas time. January, you got cheap drinks and it's easier to go. Not far from me, to be honest. Um, <coughs> I always find those very cold Hitchin. Hitchin's bloody freezing, though, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's because it's surrounded by, like, like you've got town centre and a town, and you've got fields, but where I am, just built-up areas, that's it. So the wind is subtracted, but there, that's it's about three degrees lower than flipping anywhere else, like southern, I think. <laughs> well, it might not be like up the old um, beach and that on the seaside. South End, Margate, for example. But yeah, no, it'll be nice. But we shall see in the next few weeks. If, I, if they're going to do it, I reckon, though, let me know in the side chat as well in the comments below. I reckon they've only got four weeks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, three, four weeks to, to organise something because people need at least a month, at least a month and a half, month, say four weeks, it's up to the 22nd of November, right, to get it sorted because people need to book up hotels because um, if if they do, in Hitchin, I'll just go to Premier Inn. It's cheap enough. The cheapest the cheapest Premier Inn I've ever seen ever in Hitch, Hitchin. It was bloody cheap. The one in uh, Eastbourne, Twice the price for the same number of nights. I would only go to Friday to the um, Sunday because I've I've had the delights of Hitchin. It's a nice market town. It's great. Some like 
really weird back ways you can go to places and it's like, uh, wow. I really enjoy though. But hopefully in January have a meet up. Um mm, fair enough, Neil. Have a look. Cause he's 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 on tour now. Um, Neil. Um the because he's in a um coach, massive coach thing. Uh, if you go on to his um Instagram, let's whack up a tour, 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 tour. Is that Birmingham on October 26th of October, Thursday? And then he goes to Manchester, the Victoria Warehouse, Friday, 22nd of November. He's at Glasgow, and he's at Newcastle, third. Leeds 4th, Liverpool 9th, 10th, um, Bournemouth the 14th, Norwich 13th, etc. Ali Pali 16th, now was 60 odd pounds, I think. 10,000 people that like with the streets, fucking, oh, I'll gladly do it if I had the cash. If you go up Ticketmaster on that particular score, you rock, rock and roll if it loads up. I might do Ticketmaster or C tickets. I do both actually. Dice is crap. Uh mm. sixty six pounds fifty two each. Uh, that's what resale tickets like. Yeah. Uh currently slightly less on um C tickets, but uh currently unavailable. But I can't afford it right now. It's coming to, coming up to Christmas period. Um, try and get my much I can listed on the eBay online selling selling. But I've just like recently today sold this. Well, I say I've sold it half and half, waiting payment for this Pikachu. Where did I get it? Uh, car boot possibly. I can't remember this year at some point. Got the tag on it, you can see. Um, eighteen pound plus postage. I whack on free AC postage because that with um, uh, wrapping and all that in a box is hard to get up sixteen centimeters the height for raw mail. So I go yodel. It is. Oh dear, what's the Brand WCT Wicked Cool Toys. Pick a pick a big a Jew. I choose you. Lightning. And anyway, a long story short. Send them an invoice. I sent them a payment reminder. They haven't paid. My fucking gripe on eBay is bloody people don't pay for items. You give them a few days, which is regulatory, like like you you, you have to, and then you got go, oh come on. You haven't paid for his item, got to cancel it, and you just have to cancel it. A, f- a few, like, last few months have cancelled just because they're not bothered paying for it. Why give me an offer and don't fucking bother to pay for items? So that has, a f- has sold-ish, waiting for payment for that like, £18 for Pikachu. It's, just, it's, it's one with a lightning bolt for the tail. Bigger, bigger. Anyway, I thought I'd mention that because it's my bloody gripe at the moment. Bl- uh, my bloody gripe at the moment on eBay. People not paying for flipping orders that they're supposed to pay for and they don't bother. 100%, yeah. If we go and say, Nick, Nick, we're all 100% for a meetup in January. Get it organized, folk. In, in a nice way. <laughs> You've got to get it organized. Meet up. Hmm. Are you just trying to give me questions that are like get me a right in a right bollock? And I said, I try and curb my tongue these days. But basically, I've never bothered with daily refinement, tech and sports, rock star flipper, all that sort of stuff, right? I've seen the drama online. I've seen the recent drama as of um, yesterday or today where they split into two groups. Daily Fine one group, text what the other, and they're both going back and forth, not at each other, like literally giving it all that, but they're doing it 
sort of like in a secret sort of um what's that word a coding sort of way um but i've seen the drama fucking childish though isn't it it's it's childish i understand what they're all now you'll do i understand who they are i understand what they are for forget rockstar flipper he's a, usually a bit of a shit stirrer but say no more Second sports, I understand, but I've never wanted to go into that particular piece of um, like paying for information. If I don't learn it, I don't learn it. I don't, I don't get the money. But I learn through watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts. Um, I know they do podcasts and stuff and that, but just like thinking, oh, but I normally learn through myself, do my Asperger's and that is easier on my own terms but i get it and like well what, what's happened recently with daily, daily refinement being outed out by rockstar flipper and others and stuff and then Tekken sports taking it beyond himself not to get involved in that but then to just, just split from that community set up another community and it'd be raging on for another three years is what it is but if you like that sort of thing where you want to pay for something and you get a lot of information look at a podcast, go for it. No one's stopping you doing it. This is my personal preference. I don't do it. I learn through um, who I watch on YouTube, my preference and podcasts and a lot of hours of research. Don't know how many hours I spent researching items. Literally, I've already spent an, an hour um, shit. researching these bad boys. To no avail so far, but another many hours each card to research. You know, research is key. And also people helping you out, telling you, oh, I've sold that for a good amount. Okay. And then they think, right, I'm going to go into that. Have a look at this particular one. Say, for example, I don't know, something I've got here. I'll just pick out one of, one of these, for example. Like, e- e- you know, they're good money. These, um, like, what ones? This is for... Um, CD. So, yeah, it's all research. And, and you learn by watching people and looking at, um, listening to podcasts or if it's audio or not. But that's my thoughts on it. Not getting involved anymore. Not via YouTube. Not drama. I've been there, done that, got a t-shirt. And people had to be banned from the channel. Mm-hmm. Totally. Uh, I'm just reading down the comments. Yeah, totally, Neil. Totally, mate. Um, Derek says there, he'll be sorting from his death pile if boot sale is off, rained off. My Sunday one is indoors, but clashes with Sun's football now, so I can't go. But, but not too worried for now. Okay. I'm sure you've got a big backlog. And you don't have to stand, even in a, indoor ones, with loads of people bashing about, going, oh, that's two pounds, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to go for me personally, get the content out there. But it's all thinking about new ideas, um, how you can um, sell your stock. And and, and also, with, with that, you get ideas for little videos they want to um, record and possibly upload. Mm-hmm. But I always find it harder, like this time of year, particularly with um, like, uh, what's the word? Like creating content because I'm not like a Lucy's car boo. You've seen her on, on Instagram, a uh, house. Well, not her, the mother's house. Jesus, one she put on, on, on today, I was like, I ain't going to comment because she ignores my comments. But back here now, disgusting. She pulled it all out. She can't move in it. It's like, like up here. Anyway, besides the point, like, I don't have videos um, scheduled till next year. No, I don't. I'm on an as and when basis. But that's good. Because I try and up my game with my videos anyway. Um, so. Uh, come across school bully with chipping the shoulder if you ask me more in. Oh, of course it is. 100%. 100%. Um, 
Uh, no, it's the UK. Type in Reseller Summit via Instagram, via here. My phone is going off. I'm live my channel. So someone's telling me about um, Jumble Sales. Thank you very much. You know who you are. I'll, I'll reply later on. See if I can make the Jumble Sales. Um, uh, let's have a look. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Daily. No, I'll come in. No, I want to go to. Oh, there we go. Resale Summit. The Resale Summit there. Click on the logo on Instagram. Your Instagrammers. £76.50. Uh, you've got likes of, for example, you got George, Click Right, Chica, I Resell Stuff, Ramage Around, Flip Room, Cadbury Seller, Chaddy Pete, Luxury Pickers, Seller T, Selling Down, Becky's Bazaar, ABL, Dave, Daz and Paul, Fuzzy Feet, Shell Resells, and maybe more. Um, so yeah, that's on, uh, March, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Um, in Derby, Comp Center. Um, oh, I understand that. Yeah. If I had the cash and, um, could actually travel up there, like if I was driving or via, um, train, I will, I will go, but they're always too far. You're always going to get people to say, oh, I can't go sound, so I would like to, but it's too much money. Like, I have to work out weeks in advance. Like, I spend the whole afternoon working out prices for hotels and so on. Because when I went to Birmingham, I booked the hotel. It was a nice one, but it's too far. I should have gone to one that, that um, John stayed in. Um, but I didn't. Then you see the center. Yeah, that's another thing you live and learn, though. You know what I mean? But it is quantity over Quality over quantity, though. It's, it's what it is. But I, I always like the little meetups. Like, for example, um, Eastbourne. If you ever come to Eastbourne, fucking brilliant place. If there's ever a, an, an area of the UK that I'd love to, to move to, we'll be down the south coast. So, for example, you've got, like, Eastbourne, right? You've got um, Shoreham by Sea is lovely. Worthing. Ammering, uh, rusting to Newhampton. That's brilliant. I used to go there like um, when I used to belong to a um, kids' club. Um, well, when I was a kid and that, and used to go down there on a trip. Lovely, Newhampton, Bog the Regis. Um, you've got Pagham, Celsius, brilliant, Blackstone Bay, Whittering, West Whittering, for example, Portsmouth. Uh, loads of places, and there's so much to do to go and see. Chichester, you've got lots of um, museums to see and places. It's beautiful. If I ever did <clears throat> over the years, I've been my ideal, ideal. But no, if you come like to, um, for example, Eastbourne meetup, there's not many of us, probably about way under 20. And it was, it was brilliant. Last time we, were, we got a bit drunk, we spent all day, all our, um, from about, think about, half 11-ish, on the sauce, on the drink. You know, we were drinking cocktails, we were drinking hard cider, no, no cocktail cider, we, what else were we were drinking? Liquor, that's right. Oh. That's why, right. but it was, oh, it was roasting, it was absolutely roasting, I was so hot, but by the evening, by the evening it was cold. But we were just listening and listening via, like, just by the beach, and, and then got the big music stands, and one was playing um, Pink Floyd records. It was brilliant, like a cover band. that was like, oh, I could sit there all day long. But it's like when you go to like, a place like Birmingham, there's no beach, obviously, it's further from the beach. It's like, difficult, difficult. There's not much you can do. I've sit, sit in a pub, a pub that has been recommended is a bit grotty, but you know what I mean but it's nice but I can understand like Wrexham as well the small ones are great but Hitchin ones if you get a chance to come to Hitchin great market town great shops great pubs and bars and stuff and great people when you come to the January meetup in Hitchin um, it's usually about at least 40 people 30-40 that can't come along even if they come for like a day or a few hours and stuff 
last year, Brum was there. Um, you had um, Nick and Andrew, of course, Andrew, Derek Richard, in um, G. Um, oh, well, sure, loads of people. Damien, of course, you had so many. Like, I didn't know Brum was coming and, and stuff. Like, you had loads. But some people would clash with their holidays and just Christmas, they couldn't afford it. But it's just a nice place and it's cheap for, for drinks. And it's, it's not like a place where you got to sit there and fucking sit there and you, you're like chained to sit there and watch. You can go in and out, in and out as, as you like. People are popping out to here and there everywhere at times and you like, great. And then we went out a bit later and it got a bit too late when we went out because we were staying in the pub till way after 12. God, we weren't half drinking. Christ. Um... Yeah, because I met him at the Birmingham meetup. He came along. He was a nice bloke. And, and his friend subbed to me as well. But I sub to his channel and watch when I can. But yeah, I understand, yeah. Got a Nintendo DS with 12 games for a fiver. Whoa, is that a hook? Great. Is that just a standard DS though? Is it like a red one or something? Or black version? But were the games just the standard? They just, if, if you know or were they like Mario, uh, P- Pokemon stuff? It's good though for a fiver, but I wish I'd gone now though because it didn't rain. A bit of gutted though, but too much to list anyway. So if I cancel this weekend, I think I can do about it. But I'll try and work out ways of sourcing and making out videos as such throughout the winter period. Also, I, w- I went up to Hampton Court Palace yesterday, right? Um, it was for a Halloween event. I've got lots and lots of footage for, from three videos, right? Three videos. Let me just see if I can get up the... There's nothing I'm going to show you that's um, interestingly not to be shown. Share screen. Entire screen. Oh, they've updated that again. Share. I'll show you a few pictures, right? You've got it here. Um, I put it all into here. You've got the maze, kitchen gardens. So a few pictures and some videos, right? Come on. Hampton Court Palace went yesterday for the Halloween event. It was bloody brilliant. The amount of money they spent spent on it. You got loads of some of the areas like near the Georgian bit here, when the courts, a little staircase here was um out of bounds, and a couple of bits were out of bounds. They're working on stuff. But some of the rooms that like, you know. Oh, it all, these will all go in my um, video to try and make a little bit less than what it is. Currently, the bloody long video that is. I um, think it's a haunted palace because there's some Halloween spookiness. So if you turn this bit up if you want. It was, it was all done by uh, um, projectors, massive, expensive projectors. <laughs> it was brilliant. Turn it down to 75. Get a little sneak preview here, folks. Uh, with Mumfire Cat, <laughs> which I found. This alchemist geezer was bloody weird. There he is, the alchemist. The alchemist. People in costumes. Brilliant. Latin, I think it was. Aposi! Metapon! Amoash! Hello, Denal! Yeah, you can see that. Um, And you got Alchemist. Some stuff that goes through and, like, again, projectors. That's one of my favourite photos ever I've taken, ever. As a cracking photo, got a light. That's, that's brilliant. Love that photo. One of my favourites. We outside a little courtyard. That lady. I think she were, were, were Catherine. Said she was Catherine or something. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit later for Catherine of Aragon, but it might be late later for Catherine or something. Hey, this one's great. I've got a little bit via the GoPro, but the GoPro's not very good at light. My phone's better at light, so I've added a little bit through um, GoPro and through this 
um, on my phone. But great how they um, did with the pictures and made them all 3D effect. Uh, and the sounding um, was great as well. Just a few more to go. Uh, William Shakespeare. There's some great photos there. Oh, this was a great area. You can see me there. Brilliant area. One of my favourites. They're talking about that um, supposed ghost they saw 2004 on a CCTV. It was 2004. But it was, it was brilliant. It was, it, was, it was child scary, I think. Not like when you go to these haunted mazes and they fuck you over. Like scary mazes. But it's child maze. Child friendly. Um, I love a stained glass window. I like a lot of money to upkeep, like all, all, all this stuff. Um, let's go through quickly. Henry VIII, fair. Just a randomised seance. Not very good picture though, because it was quite blurry and nothing. A little bit, a few seconds it comes in. There we go, right now. Blind now to your beauty, your cries. Do you know what it is to be sentenced to death by one You get a picture like on that, you get a picture, just, just a seance and it... Basically, with, with the chairs, they've got audio bits on, on the chairs. Um, um, my GoPro didn't do it justice, so I did it on the phone. Uh, Catherine of Aragon, no, one of the Henry VIII's wives. I can't remember which one. It took me ages to get a photo because my phone was playing up, trying to get a photo of her. Shouldn't really take photographs in here because the bad bottom bit was closed. Oh, this bit was brilliant. It's one of my favourite areas that they've made. So it's basically normally like a walkthrough. Oh, wow. But that's like really expensive stuff, how they've um, done it like. Uh, there we go, 75, case it, knocks it up. Um, see, it, all I know it's all about battles and stuff, and just you just see your blood and his death, and yeah. This was the Georgian bit. They, they walk around and set a thing, they do get a bit. Humpy sometimes with kids and people shouting and moaning in your ear holes. I think one lady did. And that was outside. Cracking photo. I could, I could take a good photo when it, the quality of the light is there. I do, do some rides on there. The horses pay a little bit extra, but that's great. Just, oh, that's my, one of my favourite outside photos I've, I've done. It was a nice day. It got a bit warm. Because it was cold, and about five o'clock ish, it peaked down with rain for 20 minutes. Morning, it's just gone 10 to 10. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's me. It's gone 10 to 10. <laughs> um, stop up there. Take that there. 10 to 10. If I put it on, oh, yeah, that's one of the. There's a few photos and stuff there, but there's loads of footage and the rose gardens and maze and stuff. Free videos from. And the court palace. Let's go into my pictures. Well, yeah, yeah, it was alright. Just train station, restaurant was fine. Train station, the windy, bloody place. The Bella Vista must be first choice then. Premier Inn. As long as I don't give your room away, you're good. What happened to you last year, though, Derek? Or didn't you? I can't remember. Oh, aye, aye. No, 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 it's Tom with the Premier Inn light. Premier Inn, aye. That's right, Premier Inn. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bella Villa. Mm, it was the year before in 20... Because we didn't have one in 2020, of course. We did it in d December 2021. Yeah. Oh, 2020. Because last year was the first year, um, 2020... 
can't remember, but I, I know last that's right, 2020, what 2022? Mm, I can't remember now when it was, but I, I know I stayed in the Bella Vita one year and it, it was great, except Sarah Isles had a bad room, but say no more. But, but um, they are charging X amount for breakfast and shit and all that in the Bella Vita, and I get the same amount more brekkie in the flipping Premier Inn, which, which I had. Um, let me just work it out if I can find it. She shouldn't be too. There we go. Meetups. Um, Hitchin 2020. December. That's when I went to the Bella Vita. 20, 24th of December 2021. That's, that's right. I did, did, did have one in 2022 then. I can't remember now what we've had. I've, I've been four times. 18, 19, 21. That's right, because we didn't do it because we had it on the year, uh, January after. Because we were going to do it in December, but in, in, in January. That's right. Yeah. Um... <laughs> well, yeah, if I burn it, yeah, but I don't think I, I could get, have a heart to burn that thing. It's a good value, though. PSP with 15 games, sit. Wow, I should have gone. I would have been in there. Was that after like nine o'clock, though, Pat? When you went to the local? Could you go a little bit later? Like I see you sometimes when I've nearly finished. Um. Correct. I understand that. Yes, Brecky's the beautifulness on the. It's about a fifteen-minute walk, but not far. Go on the back way. You're right. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I just had to be alarm off. Gee, working out. I was like, I was a bit hangover. I was like, shit, I got hangover. Alarming off. I was like, oh god. But uh, Ali said it off. I know they are. That's why I didn't show them for that long. Sad thing is the newbies think these people actually know what they're talking about. Oh, yes, correct about daily environment and all that. Yeah, I know, I understand that, yeah. That's why I learned over the years not, not to follow a crowd, not to get in with a crowd like I did with my teenage years and when I first started reselling. You sort of fall, into, fall in with friends I've got through YouTube and through... Um, other uh, avenues through reselling and meet up uh, meetups and stuff. Um, hi, Shiva, it's popping in, mate. Appreciate that. Um, let's go down the list. Uh, are you still sorting things in new shed? Are you got keeping? Oh, st oh, oh, ask me. Yes, I got what you mean now. The little key to shed. Yes, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five boxes in there. And wow, they're keeping dry. All this weather we've been having, right? They're keeping so dry. Um, might be a uh, feel cold, but they're in um, sealed boxes. Make sure they're sealed in box. And they're off the ground because we put like a couple of bits of wood and the unit on there, it's like one of my mum's old gardening units, proper quality. Um, it's it's staying there. I don't tend to put a lot of things out there. For example, I wouldn't put these out there. Um, or plushes, DVDs, games, some odd toys, if we're in a bag or something. Um, books, like. But yeah, it keep well. And, and, and even in the, the sheds, they keep quite dry. Um, but in the little green shed, near right next to the Keita shed, we need to have a hole over because we, we've lost some indoor bowls. But we can't find two lots of indoor. We lost those. Also, we need it really looking at. But when um, it gets warmer-esque and um, family member 
comes round to have a look at some point. Um, mm, fair enough. No worries, Neil, for property, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, I've seen it a few times. It's a bit weird, though. Um, they got loads of ghost footage, though, through Hampton Court. Um, but you are, I think, people have done ghost hunts before. Not for, I don't know if I've done for telly. I know they've done film there, because they filmed there for um, one of the uh, Parts Caribbean films and obviously the Olympics. But yeah, I've seen all that. It's great. I don't think you, you are allowed to have cameras to ghost hunt. Can you... Um, let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Members only ghost tours. But that's not with a, a film cam... Uh, filming, though, with cameras and like what most haunted do or ghost adventurers over, over in the U US members only ghost tours this, this Halloween 90 minute walking tour ah so not super the under 12s ah interest 15 quid Two hours. Interesting. But no, I don't think you can with, with filming. I mean, specialised filming, not just a random group um, they see. But no, it, it was good to go, though, for Halloween. It was great because I've been before um, twice for... Um, that might be three times for the usual summer extravaganza. And I've been once for the winter Christmas period. But it's, it's not a patch, not a patch on the Halloween stuff. Like, uh, most of what we'll talk about, we're talking a bit about backlog and the car, which Q4 sourcing elsewhere. We've basically, basically done it. But just recap, like for me, end of car boots. So they're on till next week. It is a few, but some of them are too far away to travel. Silly o'clock in the morning, in the dark, no point. So I shall be going to. Le Jumble, which I need to have a look at, actually. It's good to have some contacts, though. People who like to tell you about things occasionally. Let's have a look. Facebook, Facebook. Who was that? Um, quite good. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at that. Um, sorry, a lady who I've met through um, Jumbling. She's a very nice lady and got um, kid and that and all that. And like we exchange things. And same with another guy. Um, we exchange. So I'm like, okay, brilliant. So I'll um, have a look at that later on. Because I always have a look all year round for jumbles, especially during like beginning of the year. I spent hours going through jumble sales, what I've wrote down and ones for like car boots, where they are and stuff and going through and kind of like, you know, must be watching through the old YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah. Any other questions? Put them in the side chat. Um, Backlog in the car boots, Q4. God's the, as you know, quarter four, this time of year, get all your backlog on. Don't really think about like the best things to put to put on. Just get it all, all on and, it, and it'll hopefully it will sell. Like your games, like board games, your toys, your books, electronics, all sorts. People will want it for Christmas. Whether you sell on, whether you're allowed to sell on, like there are certain uh, places. Um, sourcing elsewhere, so like you when the jumble sales are finished and the car boots, like you're looking on your line, arbitrage, 
online, uh, Facebook Marketplace, again, online, um, the odd charity shop here and there. Um, try and get some contacts, which is always great. If you've got space for it, I haven't, but people do and they work it through. Um, anything else? Uh, backlog. Pardon me. I don't think so at the moment. Um, video wise. So Friday, I'm hoping um, to be able to edit all that footage from Hampton Court Palace. Oh, I don't know though, because it's a lot of footage. I've got to work through. Take me hours to work through it. Depends how much I get done tomorrow, like work wise with reselling and stuff and putting stuff away and making some space. Um, my vibe and I did. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, I some ran ran on, on um, Instagram to add me to a group. Why? Because uh, the web's supposed to be quite horrible over a period so hopefully get to some some retaining footage at some point um anything else i got to say I'm trying to think but well, i've done that I don't have to call palace i've done the rest of that done the rest of that i don't think there is obviously as i said to you before i'll be doing a few videos for vlogmas um, i have to think about what videos and where i'll be I can go through christmas period um apart from that just the usual and keep subscribed for videos and hopefully i'll get some videos out for you very soon which are reselling related there'll be obviously be non-reselling videos coming out as well hopefully you like videos that i have got out the last few weeks hasn't been many but it's been a few um got any questions pop them on via instagram or my facebook page which is in the description below like share and subscribe Keep subscribed for more content on this channel. Uh, as always, have a great rest of your week. Um, have got any comments, put them in the comment section below as well. And take care. See you later, folks. Cheers popping in. Appreciate that. Take care.